Hey guys, this is QA Shahin, and today we are going to talk about branching, a pull request, and merge. So, what is the agenda for this particular video session? Well, first of all, we are going to look at what a branch is and why you would want to create one. We are then going to see how we could push a branch into our repository. Following on from there, we are going to see what is a pull request and how we can create one. And then finally, we are going to see how to merge a pull request, as in PR, which is short for pull request, into our master branch. So first of all, what is a branch? A branch is basically a copy of master. So every time you have your master branch, and let's just say you want to make some changes, it's in your interest to make a copy of your master branch and make changes on that branch instead. And the reason you want to do that is to ensure that you don't kind of pollute or accidentally break your master. And by doing all your changes on a branch which isn't your master, then that means that you won't accidentally break it or do something that you really shouldn't be doing. So when you create a branch, it basically allows you to make changes without affecting the original copy. And if you have a branch, it also gives you the ability to share the code that you've written with other people and get other people to also review and comment on it. So let's go ahead and create a branch. Okay, so this is the project that we've been working on so far. At the moment, there really isn't anything. It has only one branch. See if I click on that. Right, so it looks like we only have one branch, which is the master branch, and that's great. What we want to do is to basically create a copy of the master branch and call it something different. And once we've done that, we'll make some changes to that branch. And once we've made the changes and we're happy with it, we will push it to our GitHub repository. So I am currently inside the GitHub local copy of the project and as you can see I am currently on master. So the first thing I want to do is actually create a copy of master on a different branch. And the way to do this is to say git checkout minus b and then the name of the new branch. So let's just call it new branch. And this has now done two things. It's created the branch, but it's also switched the branch for me also. So if I type in git branch, so what this command does is it lists all the branches that you have locally. I can see that I actually have three branches. I have a master branch, I have a new branch, and I have a temp branch. Also notice that the new branch is highlighted in green and it's also got this star sign next to it. When you say git branch, if a given branch has a star sign, then that is representing the fact that you are on that current branch. So what I want to do is, let's just do a git log really quickly. And I can see that there was a merge pull request at some point to temp branch. So I know that is the latest commit I have on this particular branch. So all I'm going to do is just create a simple file using touch. So let's just say something like new branch test file.txt and if I now do a git status then I can see that this is a brand new file that isn't being tracked. So all I'm going to do is add it and then I'm going to commit it. So I'm just going to provide some very simple message. And the next thing I'm going to do is push it. Now, when I push, Git is basically saying, hold on, I can't push because this branch doesn't exist in the repository. It's effectively asking you to pass in these additional variables. So if we now say this particular variable instead,
and then I supply the username and password. Then this has now effectively pushed this new branch onto the repository. So if I now go back into the repository and if I just refresh this, I can now see that it's created a brand new branch. So the new branch that I created is now in GitHub. So what I want to do is actually quickly look at this branch and make some changes to it. And the way to do this, i.e. the way to give others and yourself to be able to see the changes is to create what's called a pull request. So when you create a pull request, you have the ability to add in some additional information. At the moment, all I want to do is just create the request itself. And this has now created the pull request. So what is a pull request? A pull request is effectively a process. A pull request, short hand is PR. It's basically a request that you make to all the contributors on your project. A contributor is effectively someone who adds code into your project. It is to allow all the contributors on your project to see the change that you make, which you're proposing to merge into master at some point. So once you make a pull request, you're basically notifying all your contributors that, hey, I've got, I have this new change and I want to push it to master. But before I do that, I want you to have a quick look. So when we see the pull request and you have a look, we have a couple of things. We can see the commits that were put against this particular pull request, i.e. what the actual data is as part of this request. which is here. And you can also see the files that have changed. In this case, there's nothing because it was just an empty file. But once we're happy with the pull request, what you can basically do is merge it. So let's just assume that we've had a look at the pull request and it's absolutely fine. There's nothing else that needs to be done. People have looked at it, they've commented on it, and you've updated it. You basically create a merge pull request. And what this effectively does is it merges your changes into master. And once you've merged in the changes, that branch, it still exists. There's no point to keep it anymore because it's been merged into master. You can go ahead and delete the branch. So now if we go back to the project, then we can see that we are currently on the master branch. And on the master branch, the file that we just created as part of the new branch has now been merged into master. So this is effectively how you create a branch locally. You then push it to GitHub, you then create a pull request, allowing others to have a look. And once you're happy with it, you go ahead and merge it. So in this particular video, we had a look at how to create a branch locally, make some changes to it, and then push it into our GitHub repository. And once we did that, we then had a quick look at the concept of a PR and what a PR is and what it allows us to do. And effectively, once we did that, we then merged the PR into our master branch and deleted the branch, which was created as part of creating the PR. And that's it for this video, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next one.